All right, this is my second day with this bike. Yesterday, I hated the spike. Today, I changed my mind. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Heather Moto Blonde. If you're not new here, welcome back. Um, ooh, look at all these people at the park. You might notice that I am still not on my Harley. Normally I ride a Harley Davidson Lowrider ST and we also have a Harley Davidson Road Glide ST. Last few videos you may have seen me renting a bike with Rideshare, not sponsored. I just love Rideshare. Um, and then I'm able to rent motorcycles in Georgia where it's a little warmer and I don't have my bikes. If you are interested in renting a bike, I did a video, one or two videos back, um, talking about the whole process with renting a bike. If you are interested in doing something like that, check out my code in the description and you can get $25 off your first rental if you sign up using it. So if you have kind of been seeing a pattern i really want a sport bike i'm getting the itch not in place of my harley in addition to now i've been renting like 300s i rented an mt03 i rented an r3 freaking loved them for perspective i'm super short almost tiny person level i'm 5'1 i have to be a little picky uh, when i rent other people's bikes i don't want to rent something and then drop it because I'm not used to um, riding something that high and I don't want to learn on somebody else's bike and potentially hurt it. I rented those smaller bikes just to get used to it and I've been dying to rent something more like I would buy myself. Now there's nothing wrong with the 300s. I actually had a ton of fun on them and for the riding that I'm going to be doing, I don't need anything bigger but I'm used to more power very fun so I wouldn't complain if I had um, the R3 but ideally if I'm gonna be laying the money out I, I definitely want something with a little more power oh yeah baby I rented the R3 I had so much fun and I've been watching a ton of videos by everybody that I know and trust on uh, online about the reviews on the R7. The next logical step for me obviously would be the R7 and every single person raves about it. The R7 has been very highly regarded by all these people. They all love it. I just figured I would absolutely love it. We are in Georgia, so I went to Mount Motorsports and they had, because they had an R7 in stock, all black, obviously I was like in heaven. I sat on it and mm, it didn't quite feel great. Um, I sat on a few bikes, but man, I really love the look of the R7 and I really love just all the features of it. Not that there's that many features, to be honest. This bike is pretty bare bones compared to a lot of them. It doesn't have all the tech, um, but I don't really need all that. Like I've said before, you can't just go test ride these sport bikes. None of these dealers are gonna let you test ride them. Maybe if you're like buying it for sure and you just wanna be sure once you're like approved and you pay them, um, but you're not really test riding these sport bikes. So that's why I love Rideshare because if you're able to find some of these bikes local to you, you can try them. It's, it's great. I didn't want to just buy it without knowing because like I said, I just, I don't have too much experience with these sport bikes and I want to be making a $10,000 mistake. I found somebody that had this. Uh, he was awesome. I rented it for two days. Unfortunately, the first day it ended up snowing. <laughs> so I took it out for like a couple of minutes that day. Um, it was in the 30s. Uh, I had, I was bundled up. I could barely move. It was so uncomfortable. I actually hated this bike. I hated it yesterday. I didn't like the way it handled. I don't, I don't know what it was yesterday, but I was so bummed out. Flashback. Five out of ten. Light enough that I could back it up. 
these foot pegs are in the worst spot possible for me. This is weird. It feels like the wheel just wants to go to the left or the right. I don't know, man. I don't I don't think this is right. Oh, oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I do not like this. It doesn't feel as flickable. I don't know why this steering feels so different, but it feels like I have to move the hand, like the handlebars want to just turn right away. Like I said, I'm laying on the tank right now. Maybe if your arms were longer, you wouldn't be. Tis what it is. My legs are pretty high up. The pegs are higher. This is very weird. I don't know what I think about it. Man, the peppiness in this bike, this bike will rip, man. So I think I just need a little more time to get used to it. My foot is actually starting to get sore. This might not be the bike for me. Holy sh**. I can't believe I'm saying that. I mean, I obviously want this bike so that I can just have a fun, easy time around town. And I don't want a bike that's going to be difficult. I want something easy to bang around in. I want the ease of the R3 with the power of the R7. Is that so much to ask? Probably. Doesn't exist. Somebody make it, please. Like, why not? Why can't somebody make that? I don't think this is it for me. I really don't. This is not comfortable. My back's starting to hurt already. End of flashback. Today, it's different. I've spent a little time on it. I, I really like it, man. I can barely tiptoe. Like I said, I'm 5'1". I can barely tiptoe, and these pegs are stabby. They're stabbing me right in the leg, right in the calf. Not even the calf, higher than the calf, because I'm so short. Um, almost to my knee. <laughs> um, they're stabby, so when I do put both feet down, they're stabbing me in both legs. I'm gonna be black and blue here. One foot down is 100% definite on this bike for me, but that's all right because once you get used to it, it's totally fine. I was so bummed out yesterday because I thought for sure with all the rave reviews on this bike, I was gonna absolutely love it and I didn't. And I said, you know, that's all right. The search continues, whatever. But today my mind might be a little changed. I do really like it. I still don't think it's perfect though. And let me explain. So. I'm not just totally laying on the tank. I have a little more room without the bulk of all the winter gear. I do find myself scooting back a little bit here and there because I am um, laying on the tank a little bit. My arms are short. Think of me as a T-Rex. Uh, my arms are short and I'm pretty stretched out and leaning forward to get to these bars. That being said, I'm leaning on my wrists a lot because of the position. Um, and. this bike can move. Riding on this for a few hours today, my hands are going a little tingly, um, my back's hurting a little bit, and you know, the position, like, it's just, I'm leaning a lot, there's putting a lot of pressure on my wrists and my hands. So, I think if I had longer arms, it would definitely be more comfortable, hence, all the normal size people that did reviews on this bike raved about it and I can see why. <laughs> nice blinker dude bag. So ergonomics, not the best for a tiny person, but for an average size person I think it'll be perfect. Um, but you know if you're looking for a more upright position that's more comfortable, you might not like this bike. Now this is uh, an inline two versus a four that most of the bikes in this class are. You get power right away. I love this and it's a little more like what I'm used to. The power is just there on this bike and you don't have to rev it out <clears throat> and have it screaming the entire time. And I really love that. You know, those the other bikes were fun. This is more my speed, man. This is more my style. 
I believe it's uh, like 75 horsepower, give or take. Uh, do you really need more than that for what you're, you know, if you do, you, you probably want something else. I'm just trying to have a good time. I want a bike that's easy to handle. I want to have a good time on it. And I want a little bit of power. Um, that's what this is really about. So this is more than enough for me. Was the R3 enough? It would do. Would I want more power? Yeah, I mean, it would do the trick. Oh, that's cool. I really do like how smooth this is, how planted this is. Um, you know, it feels, it feels narrower. It doesn't feel like this big bulky machine like some of them that I sat on felt like. This thing handles great around the corners. I mean, and again, I've had it for a day. I'm only riding this for a few hours. It's not like a legit review and I don't have experience on sport bikes to really compare it to. It's fun, it's light, it's got power. Uh, everything I really want, it's got. Let's, uh, I'm not gonna go super fast because this road is notorious for cops, but here we go. <laughs> you just want to tuck in. Oh my gosh. It's got more than enough power. And, uh, dude, this thing's legit. It's legit. I love it. Oh, my hand is definitely falling asleep here, boys and squirrels. <sighs> hand is super falling asleep so highway speeds great power great handling super great this is right where i want to be right where i want to be it's got the same engine as the mt07 um i haven't ridden one i've ridden the mt03 can't compare it from personal experience only what i've heard about it um but yeah same engine as the mt07 my neck i'm starting to feel my neck after being out for a couple hours my back my neck my back <laughs> that's gonna be my anthem on this bike i don't know i mean for sure i know i want more than the 300 this is like perfect absolutely perfect this is all i need i don't need anything more than this for sure um now this bike doesn't have all the you know electronics no modes it's got abs that's it um very basic you know whatever you know i again i don't know what all the other ones are like this is very basic and it's you know no rider modes but you know i, I kind of like that i don't use all that shit. i don't it's just me and the bike the end you know um so I, I really don't mind it i like bike i like all bikes um i'm not you know i'm no harley snob i want to have fun i want to enjoy the ride today did change my mind i do love this bike so far i haven't really ridden it enough to know for sure i know i could do it is it my ideal perfect bike i don't know i I need to try other ones, really. <laughs> I'm going to have a hard time going back to New York for a couple of weeks. I'll be back down here and I'll be riding some more. Have a few more garage videos out and then I'm going to try to find something else to ride. Hold on. <laughs> Jesus. This is so fun. Man. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to get off. Well, anyway, the things that I didn't like about it, um, either aren't, weren't an issue today because I can actually move around on it, um, or I just got more practice with, and this bike has actually been great today, and I wish I had more time with it. I'm loving it, and, you know, you want more technical review, you can go watch uh like chase on two wheels or you know somebody like that me i'm short i like bike um and that's my perspective <laughs> the nice thing about this is it's like nine grand uh 
and uh, I, I don't want to really spend more than that so if you guys have any suggestions on what you think I would like let me know in the comments let me know what you think thanks for watching guys make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I put out new videos and until next time you ride safe and I'll catch you on the next one